This is Ben, Liam and Bell on Nova. Well, hello and welcome uh, to the first ever podcast for our late drive show right around Australia. Coming up in today's episode, uh, we cold call an Aussie icon to try and rope them into helping us with a new intro. We find out that a massive pop star has been lying to us their entire career. Plus, after seeing John Cena in the nude at the Oscars, uh, we speak to the hairless men of Australia. Plus, um, if you want, you can head to the link in our Instagram bio if you want to get involved in the show from now on uh, because we want people from Perth, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne and Adelaide uh, to get involved and sometimes it's hard with time zones and all that. So, enjoy. Good evening, Australia. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That feels good. Off to a fly, guys. Already took the station off nationally off air for a It was seconds. only like 20 seconds. In radio, that feels like a week. <laughs> a two-second beat. It's normally like, oh, yeah. it's a long time. Uh, but no, it's so good uh, to be here doing this show. Look, if you're, if you're listening on Nova 919 in Adelaide, you might be familiar. Uh, ben and myself did the breakfast show there for many a year. Bell was our producer. Nova 100 in Melbourne, we've been doing the breakfast show there uh, for the last year. Um, Perth, you might remember us when we fill in on around Christmas and that sort of stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're saying with Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. And to paint the picture, so Just Talking then was Liam mm-hmm. uh, and then you'll hear Ben as well. Some people get your voices confused and mm. there's me. Can't confuse me. No, you can't. But we're going to be doing uh, 6 p.m. until 6 uh, no. Sorry, eight p.m. I get it's a very use... short show. We I... do into, we do five, we come on, we do five minutes, and then we're done. I'm still getting my head around the time because uh, we're so used to doing breakfast yeah. hours. Yeah. This is the first time in our radio careers we've ever done an afternoons show or an evenings show. Late drive, so we're going to be on every single day after drive before Smallsy. Yeah, yeah, he'll be on live from eight. Um, and hey, look, we're going to do this just to get you across everything. We're going to do this thing every single night at 6.10. It's called the 6.10 Quiz. Um, Hell, if you would like to be the first ever caller for Late Drive with Ben Lamb and Bell, this is your perfect opportunity. 13, 24, 10. Yep, super simple. You give us a buzz. We've got five very easy quiz questions. If you win the quiz, you get to choose the next song we play and every caller who gets on tonight is walking away with some KFC. Win a a chicken dinner. How good's that? Uh You're on Nova. Thank you very much for joining us for our very first show. Every single caller who gets on air is walking out with some KFC as well on us. KFC's Kentucky Fly Chicken. Find the international item on the KFC app for your chance to fly to where it's from. T's and C's apply. Now, uh, welcome to the show. Every single evening at mm-hmm. 6.10, we are going to be doing this, even though it's a little bit late. <laughs> it's 6.10. Hallelujah. It's 6.10. Ben and Bell, are we ready for our very first caller ever? I think we are. In late drive, pressure is on. Good evening, Lucille in Ipswich. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good, let's see. I like you. I like you. You've lived up to the expectation there. Absolutely. Um, Are you a big chicken fan? <laughs> I don't mind the old chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's see if we can win you some KFC. Uh, you also get to pick the next song we play if you get these next five questions right. Oh, right. Uh, okay, the first one. The Academy Awards were today, Lucille. What's the nickname for the Academy Awards? The Oscars. Yep. A, uh, the Palace released a photo of Kate Middleton and her kids that has now been redacted. It's a fun word. After uh, people believe it's been edited, can you name a photo editing software? Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop, yeah. Is there someone giving you answers in the background? No. <laughs> oh, really? I swear I, I, I heard it. Did you hear that? Are you a bit sus on? Mm, is there any men that? near you, no, Lucille? No. no. Benefit of the doubt, no. Lucille. No. We're going to be listening like hawks this time. Do <laughs> hawks have good hearing? Yeah, they do, yeah. All right. Yeah, nice. Or good eyes, I forget. <laughs> no, it's because it, it, the, the expression is the expression is like watching you like a hawk. Yeah, but yeah. I said we'll be listening like a hawk, but I don't they could be deaf or not. <laughs> yeah. I don't really I think know. good eyes. Yeah. Um <laughs> anyway, uh JB Hi Fi has been forced to remove Taylor Swift merch from their shelves due to mass theft. Uh what two colours make up the JB Hi Fi logo? Oh, what two fellows? Uh yellow and what's the well, someone mouthing to you that time. It just, uh, sort of felt like someone was in that. No, they're definitely not. Yeah, okay. I was trying to think of the colour and I'm, yeah. I'm, I get so nervous when I'm No, on the and look, and that's we, okay. we're not always this sus on everyone as well, just so you know. Uh, okay, two more questions. You're doing a bloody good job. Um, some Aussie states had a public holiday today for Labor Day. Uh, if you go into Labor, what are you doing? 
being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you're making a joke. I'm going to give you a point for joke answer. What? Yep, yep. Joke answers get points now. That's yeah, the new do. rule. They do. Last, anyway, that's la- the other answer. <laughs> Yeah, good on you, Lucille. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Last one, anyway. Ah. A, a study has found the average human has 13 secrets. Can you share one of yours? Well, look, I don't have a lot of secrets, but probably not a lot that I should do on radio. Mm -hmm. So, look, I did one a couple of days ago. I told the family that I was going to mind my granddaughter, and I actually went to the movies with myself, because I haven't done that in 10 years. So there's my little secret. Uh, Yeah, Lucy, what did you go see, June 2? (laughs) No! Um, What's this face? I don't know. Oh, God, now you've got me on a blank. <laughs> did you lie? <laughs> did you not go no. to the movies? No, I did go to the movies. Oh, oh now right. you're making your partner look at right, like, you. Oh, you said you're making, you're making your partner look at you. So there was a man in the background. I oh, you bloody you slipped up there, Lucille. Oh, we got gotcha. you. Oh. oh, here we go. You know what? You're still getting the KFC, Lucille. All right? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're still getting the chicken. Winner, winner, chicken getting, dinner. Liam, she, was get, chicken. she was getting the KFC anyway because every oh, caller yeah. gets KFC. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. No, the yeah. real prize is, Lucille, you get to choose the next song we play. Now, would you like to hear some Fetty Legrand? <laughs> or do you want to hear the story of a girl? This is the story of a girl. <laughs> Say again. I like the second option. The second one. No, I know. All right. Well, Lucille, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. You've been an absolute wild card. You have a great <laughs> evening, okay? You too, guys. Cheers. See you, Lucille. Say hi to your partner for us as well. <laughs> yeah. I like the idea of someone in their house listening um, with the radio on this you know, beanbag just by themselves. Vibing out. Listening oh, yeah. To, listening I miss to the 50s. Well, that's kind of cool if you brought the 50s back and people also, like, got I mean, home yeah. and they gathered around the radio. Oh, I, I get what you were thought. saying. You are saying like in the 50s people gathered around yes. the radio. Yeah. I thought you were talking about beanbags. I'm like, dude, they weren't the 50s. You're thinking <laughs> no, more 90s. I love beanbags at home. I love beanbags. Yeah, but they're like a 90s thing. No, we, gathering around the radio. We should do Ben Lehman and Bell late drive merch and their beanies and you listen I, to the radio <laughs> on your beanies. Who saw that coming? <laughs> Belle and I were like, great idea, beanbags. I had already Be started ordering them. And then you just said beanies. And we're just like, like uh, breakneck yeah. speed, turn the corner. And I just, I didn't see where that came from, Ben. But I mean, I yes, I suppose there's a bean element to them. It's like, you know, guys, you're talking about beanbags. You know what we should do? Coffee beans. We should do branded Ben Lehman yeah. Bell coffee beans. No, I bean meant bag. beanbags. You could do um, Ben Lehman Bell beanies with beanbag beans in the beanie. You know what we could also you do? Could sit on it. We could do beanie babies. Have some beanie bears. Could do, but that'd be like a licensing issue. We have to get the license. I'm right. just thinking of like other um, things with oh, beans in them. Um, and I actually think this is a real, real one we could do. Uh, hacky sacks. Because they're pretty fun. Yeah, we could do. We really, <laughs> I feel like we're pigeonholing the, sh- pigeonholing the show if we do uh, bean bags and hacky, and hacky sacks. sacks. Like, is that that stoner show that started on <laughs> Nova? Yeah, the, yeah, I don't know. I don't really get that. Yeah. <laughs> Tasmanian Sports Club is in hot water for using characters from Bluey to promote a greyhound racing event. Get up, you dog! Get up, Bluey! Get up, Bluey! (laughs) Go, Go, bingo! Go, you good thing! (laughs) Been going outside. <laughs> hey, I'm Larry. Mum's coming around the outside. Oh, yeah. That's awful. The form guy under the arm. That's awful. Yeah, so the post spruiked on Facebook that the event uh, had fun planned for the kids and encouraged all Bluey and Bingo lovers to join the event. That makes sense to me, though, because Bluey, uh, they are dogs. Like, yeah, the, the, yeah. the show are dogs. Yeah. The dog track. Yeah, they're not forced to race, though, in the no, show. No, 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 no. Why is Bingo crying? Why is everyone so, ang- Why is everyone so angry at Bluey for losing? <laughs> um, but, like... Obviously, it's a big copyright yep. issue, um, and the suits. That's are... the issue. No, copyright? no, 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 no. The, 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 wow. No, no, no. There's two. <laughs> the, no, there's two issues. I'm getting to that, Bill. I'm getting to that. The, the copyright thing is is bad, mm. and they've obviously made the suits themselves. But it's obviously a bigger issue that they're using like a children's TV show to advertise greyhounds to kids. Um. And it's it's a look, it's not the first time that it's happened in this country. Um, you know, many companies obviously try and get kids young. It's good business. You know, if you get them young, they're mm-hmm. sort of business for life. Yeah. 
And I'm just sort of, I was going through some articles and I was just like, man, there's so many companies that have been busted in the past. Some of these I forgot about. Um, do you guys remember when the Wiggles did that ad for Dan Murphy's? Two, two, chugga, chugga, real cheap wine. Come in and buy some if you're nine. Oh. Two, two, glugger, glugger, beer is cool. Drink a six pack before school. So, guys, um, first show on Late Drive here in Nova. How do we think we went? And then you get with the boss going, well, you talked about kids consuming alcohol. <laughs> you got a, you you got a cease and desist from the Wiggles. <laughs> you actually didn't sound that badly. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no. Um, well, I don't think they'll ever have me in the group after that. But, they, you know, there's other... Um, Kids TV shows that mm. have landed themselves in hot water. I mean, Barney had that deal with TAB. I love you. You love me. Let's all start gambling. <laughs> Free bonus bets if you sign up now. Race six, call field, get on now. <laughs> It's so bad. You're going, how can that happen? How is that on TV? Yeah, that makes me want to gamble. It, same. <laughs> and and it's that. disgusting. It is disgusting what some of these shows are. They had that, that Sesame Street one that was going around when they were trying to promote vaping to children. Sunny day, vaping big, clouds is <laughs> slay. The flavours are sweet, what a yummy treat. Can you tell me how to get, how to get my hands on a vape? <laughs> Very bliss, peach, lime or grape. <laughs> Do they have to list off all the flavours at the end? <laughs> Disgraceful. All complaints can be sent to our Instagram page, Ben, Lean and Bell on Instagram. <laughs> Great one day show. Yeah, it's been a fun show so far for yeah, the first one. I think it's gone pretty, ben and Bell. pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Better than um, Al Pacino's performance. Did we also that one? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. At the, the, was that the Oscars? Oscars? Yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't great. So he's he's opened the envelope, and obviously, I think it goes without saying, you can talk up until you open it, but once you open it, you say the thing, the yep. music plays, the people come up. And this is the big one, right? This is best. This picture? was the big one. Yeah. This was the biggest, and Al Pacino is one of the biggest stars in the room. Of course, it would only make sense that he's done it, but he's he's really really cooked this one. Have a listen. Here it comes. And my eyes see Oppenheimer. Yes. Yes, Emma Thomas, Charles Gordon. Ah. And they just overpower him. You can hear him getting faded out. They start playing the Oppenheimer music, the best picture above him. Yeah, well, I mean, if you trust an 83-year-old man to present the best we picture. We were good. Oh, that's funny. I see what you've done there. He's done a good bit. I was just doing a bit. Well, day one. Day one. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm funny sorry. To I'm just sorry. Play music over. I won't do that again. I'm can sorry. I? Can I? Do, sorry. Do we even understand what Pacino's saying now? It's like, what? What does he say? Am I gonna see? He Open says, Am I Here seeing it comes. <laughs> that one wasn't on purpose. <laughs> that's all me. Sorry, Ben. Didn't. Here it comes. <laughs> And my eyes see Oppenheimer. Wow. Yes. Yes. I yes. think he's just getting a bit old. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, good stuff, Apuccino. Shaggy has been lying to us. <laughs> not Shaggy. <laughs> not, not like Shaggy and Scooby, but Shaggy and Wasserman. This Shaggy. This Shaggy. Yeah, okay. I saw this today and it absolutely rocked me. Like, yeah, I mean, this is this is one of those things you're guaranteed you're going to be, you'll send it to your friends and you'll tell your friends about it and you're like, oh my God, did you know this? You, you found out it was him. Yeah. Um, Sorry. <laughs> that was good. No, no, I don't, didn't mind that, Bill. <laughs> didn't mind that. Uh, good for day one, you know. What um, did you find out? Uh, so that is not his voice at all. Like, he's completely bunging that on. Like that, Mr. Lava, lava. Yeah, Mr. Lava, Lava. Said a big drink of milk. Mr. Lava. He doesn't talk like that. Have a listen to this. Yeah, one time, Mr. Lava. Oh, yeah. But I got this voice by mocking <laughs> drill instructors in the military. Yeah, boy, drop and give me 20. Let's go, boy. And I would mock him as a, as a form of joking. I just sang that song in that voice because it sounded cool. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? So Shaggy just talks like this. 
And then one day he thought it would be funny to do a song going blah, 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 <laughs> and then and that really caught on. And now he just has to do it like all the time. He's been that doing sucks. it for like twenty years. So and and I sort of was like, this can't be. Like I was like, maybe that's a joke. Yeah. Like I just saw that on TikTok and I was like, nah, having a bit more of a look. And this is really wild. So this is from like the project in Australia, like a year ago. Shaggy must have been here doing some shows. And there's so many inconsistencies going on because it sounds like he's doing like a... I think he's got like split personality or something because he's got a whole other couple of voices going on here. Have a listen to this. It would be right. hard for people to be unhappy around you. You know, we have, we have a lot of fun doing what we're... I mean, I, have, I always say music, it's the best job in the world, you know? Yeah, it's it, because you put smiles on people's faces every night. <laughs> oh. yeah. And um, it, it's a joy to come to work. <laughs> what the know, hell? He doesn't know who he is. Is he Jamaican? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. Knows. I don't think he knows. <laughs> He's just making it up as he goes along, Shaggy. It's like that movie, uh, is it Split? Yeah, it's, it's like, like Split. Split. Yeah. yeah, it's like Split. <laughs> it says that he is Jamaican born. I just looked it up. Yeah, yeah but, but then, he, yeah, sort he of goes just from goes... that into like just straight American. And then now, sure. now that I know his voice, the voice that I think of isn't real, I don't mm. know what to believe. Mm. Should we do like 13, 2014, um, you call... Uh, this is probably not going to work. Uh, <laughs> no. Call up with a voice. Yeah. And we will decide if it's real or not. <laughs> so so like, people call up and they're like, yeah, so, yeah, I don't so yeah. Because we all thought Shaggy, that was Shaggy. We thought we, everyone was convinced that's how Shaggy talked. Mm. But it isn't. So if you want to get yourself a free KFC dinner, yep. you call us 13 24 10. It might be your real voice. It might be a fake voice, that and, you're we, putting on. and we <laughs> you have to try and pick it. But ask yeah. me, like, if your real voice sounds a bit obscure. Eliza joins us now in Sydney. Good evening, Eliza. Hi, morning. I mean, afternoon. I can't believe how fast this day. <laughs> yeah, I know it's flying by. I think that's probably your real that, voice, Eliza. I mean, it sounds real. Yeah, is right. that your real voice? It's it's not my real voice. <laughs> is that your real voice? It, this is my real voice. Very you're similar. Su- yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Eliza, you're... <laughs> see, and, and they do say, like, the best lies are very close to the truth, but, I mean, there, there must have been a 5% difference between... Eliza, can you Do you know what I mean? Us- you're like, oh, this is my real voice. <laughs> can you give us your fake one again? Hi. Oh, Hi, oh yeah. Yeah, you've just gone up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you've gone up an octave yeah. or two. Well, the thing is, you have gotten on air, so you get your dinner yeah. anyway. Yeah, don't you worry about that. We'll give you KFC. Uh, Tom in Adelaide, hello. Hey, guys. Oh, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tom, that's nice. It's have, a nice voice. Have you had a good day today? Yeah, it's been keeping cool in the pool. Oh, I reckon he's putting it on. No, I, think I, it's reckon, real. I, I think it's real. I, I it's Ben, very... speaking now, I'm going to say that that is a fake voice. Yeah. So, Tom, um, Labor Day, public holiday in Adelaide. Um, so, what? There is a public holiday in Adelaide. Uh, for the Adelaide Cup, if I'm not wrong. Oh, what? What? What, what public holiday is it in Adelaide, Tom? Uh, something, Labor Day. It feels like the voice is cracking there. It? it feels like he's losing it. You know, I tripped him up. Oh, yeah, Tom, I think you're bunging it on. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's how you talk to people at the bar. Yeah. yeah, when you're trying to pick up. You got your KFC, Tom. Thanks for coming on. Jennifer joins us now in Melbourne. Good evening, Jennifer. Hey, man, now you know what you're doing. Lord, I'm a thinking, man. I love everything you're doing there. You get an Irene and get a non and everything, man. Mm, that one feels problematic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're saying. I love in your work. You Jennifer, I'm going to say, uh, you're bugging it on. Me, you're bugging it on, Jennifer? <laughs> no way, man. This is my real, man. I well, now think. It feels bad now you're committing you. to the beer. Jen- yeah. Jen- <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> I mean, is that your actual real voice? I I am actually a person that grew up in the Virgin Islands, so yes, I can talk like that, okay. and I can well, also we... talk like this. Yeah, because you were definitely though you were turning it up to one hundred and ten. But look, it's still yeah. You know what? Yeah. Eggs on my face. I thought you were properly banging it, on, banging it on, Jennifer. <laughs> darling, like... darling, you are my thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right I like Jennifer, it. you got yourself some KFC. I, I'm telling you, I love your work. You are the best. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. You have a great evening. (laughs) You have a great evening. Evening. Thank you. You You have a great evening. Jeez, what a flip. Wow. Who saw that coming? I didn't. I thought we were going to get pulled off air. And then all of a sudden, seemed problematic. And then we were were in the wrong. Mm. And hey, you know, every now and then, don't we just all have to look at ourselves Mm -hmm. and say, Mm -hmm. you know, who are we judging here?
Yeah, you're either you know? learning or you're listening on Nova. Or laughing. Or laughing. Or or laughing. laughing. Yeah, learning. <laughs> learning or listening. I just, yes. Yeah. I mean, you're probably not listening anymore. But <laughs> what a wild ride it was. That's exactly what I thought it was. And I'd like, be, like to say, I would like to say, I called that before the bit, remember? I he did. That. He I said did it would be. He did I say, did say. Be, if you check the tapes, guys, five minutes ago, Ben <laughs> said it would be wild. <laughs> Every single evening at 7 p.m., we do Kashioki. Ben, Liam, and Bells. Kashioki. Whoa, Kashioki. And that's what it's all about. about. Lynn in Sydney, do you oh. like cash? I do, I love cash. Well, wouldn't it be great if we could shoot some cash at you right now? $1,000 mm. worth. Which I'd imagine if you, we did have one of those money guns, a thousand dollars wouldn't look as good as you think in your head. Like it'd, 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 it, yeah, it'd be over do it pretty in quick. fives. You'll be fine. You could do, we could do it in fives. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's only going to happen, Lynn, if you can finish the lyrics of this popular Nova song. Now, hundred percent, you're going to know the song. Like, we play it all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Whether you can nail the lyrics though is the question. So we need the next eighteen words. All right, next eighteen, 18 words, words, Lynn. Are you ready to go? Yep. All right, let's do it. Kashioki on Late Drive. Um, bells are singing. No! Oh, no! This is what we were looking for. such a big song as well. Lynn, nice work anyway. Thank you for being involved. Uh, You do get dinner shouted by us for KFC tonight and you're also in the draw for Nova's first class in 50K. Yeah, I love that. Lynn, are you a twister girl or are you more into the Zinger Burgers? (laughs) Thank you. Yeah, good on you, Lynn. Are you a hairless man? The Oscars were on today. I'm sure you've seen them popping up in your feed all day, all the different outfits and all the goss that's going on. But you may have also seen... John Cena naked. And you can never really see him. Oh. Is he, what is he, <laughs> Invisible Man or something? Well, no, the whole song is You Can't See Me. So, right. like, his finisher, oh, yeah. he would wave Jeez. his hand okay. in front of yeah. his face and say, yeah. You can't see well, me. Well, you can see a lot of him today. And then punch them. Yeah, watch a bit of wrestling once in your life. Jeez. Well, see, <laughs> the thing is, like, I'm. I'm I liked John Cena. I thought he was hot he, ass. Like, absolute daddy. Absolute daddy. Mm. Very and nice as well. We, we've interviewed him before. Yep. Good guy. And he was he was super nice. He was very American. He was like, hello, John. Nice to meet you. Mm. <laughs> and um, shorter than you would think. Oh, but, like, really? obviously very stocky. Yeah. yeah. So Liam and I are 6'2". John was probably like 5'9". Oh, here we go. Well, you're not six two. You're yeah, like no, five, we're more eight. like six four. Yeah. Anyway, um, so if it's your first time listening, we're seven foot. We're you're big, not, you're big not. boys. If you see people that look like us from like the photo on your app or whatever, yeah, uh-huh. it's probably just some shorter guys. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, John Cena got up on stage today, absolutely stark as naked, mm-hmm. and he was supposed to be like streaking and presenting the he was doing the best a bit. costumes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing a bit, and as someone who thought he was like you know a solid eight out of ten with clothes mm. on. Real disappointment when he was really. Took it all off. I mean, he's, yeah, he's, he's very today. staunch. What like is it about? What is it about him that you weren't too digging? muscly, too stocky, and then just no I, hair. I have just, that problem. Just neck down. In fact, eyebrows down for John. No hair. So, Bill, you like, like a bit of hair? Absolutely. But he just just nothing he, from eyebrows he, down. Yeah, it was like he his body Wasn't had entirely even like been lasered yeah. off. Maybe even. Totally. Do you think? Do you think he's normally like that? Was that in preparation for? I'm going to be naked in front of the entire world. I've watched you know him I mean? wrestle a lot, and he's always been pretty hairless. Why? Yeah. I don't see, like, obviously down below the belt, but I imagined he'd be hairless. <laughs> That's Cameron. how you imagined him growing up. <laughs> Cam in Sydney. Are you a hairless man? Cameron? Cam. Hey. hey. Hi, how are you going? Yeah, good, mate. Are you a hairless man? I, I am, yes. Yeah. My, uh, my friend's normally refer to me as, you know, those one of those cats that have no hair? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A sphinx cat? A no, sphinx cat, yeah, but a bit more muscly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. So, Cam, do you I'll... wax, shave, nair? What do you do? No, I've, I'm uh, fortunate enough just to have absolutely no chest hair, no back hair, oh, no so hair on my even, butt. Cam, even if you wanted to grow it, you just can't grow it. It, it took me 28 years to grow a moustache. Wow. Oh, man. So, Cameron, what about... um? Like below the belt, like is that just still oh, a bit okay. of hair there, or? Mm. Uh, there is, but there's not a lot. 
Right, not, not so much like, as you'd like. Yeah, right. You'd, <laughs> yeah, you have to wear a merkin. Um, Jace in Sydney. Um, all our hairless men are from Sydney. I'm saying, Jason, you are you. Uh, what are we talking? Eyebrows down? Nothing. Everything except for the crutch, brother. I'm a velodrome rider. Oh, right. Oh, so you've so got you're your hairless for speed. Aerodynamic. Oh, well, hang on. Jason, I find that okay. So you're not riding naked. You could afford to have some chest hair on you, surely. Yeah, but I just did it all to match everything else, you know what I mean, for the legs. True. Yeah, I get you. If you've got like a like a vest of hair mm. and then no hair on the legs, then it'll look a bit strange. Sorry, Jace, did you say even the even the butt cracks, the hair's gone? Uh, uh, no, I still, I still kept that for winter to keep me warm. <laughs> <laughs> bit of cushioning on the seat for you. Yeah. I just, I'm sorry, Jason. I'm sure that's great, but I don't think a little bit of hair on your legs going to slow you down. Surely. Well, Jace, you got yourself some KFC for calling. Thank you very much. Aaron joins us now. Aaron, are you a hairless man? Yes, I sure am. Especially for events like Cancer Council and all that, I definitely would do it. <laughs> okay, so are you currently hairless? Um, no, but I will be shaving everything off. Yeah, right. Oh, right. But okay. body hair as well as head hair. Yeah, both. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Whole, cool. whole damn deal. Yeah. See, you're doing it for charity. You're doing it for a good cause, yeah. Aaron. Yeah. Well, that's Thank awesome. You. Good on you. Yeah. Well, you've got KFC on us for dinner tonight. I must admit, I I wish I didn't have hair everywhere. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I was hairless in, in some spots. Yeah, well, I like, you, you've I... got patches. Oh, yeah, I do. I have that. Are you referring <laughs> to that patch under my chin, Bill? Yeah. You have oh, a little. Liam's yeah. got, like, on the bottom of his chin. Just like a patch of where it just never grows. Scar, and you know, your chest actually. is pretty patchy. Okay, well, like it's let's, pretty thin. Let's, let's pick me apart. Ben's got All a right. wild hair patch. Oh, yeah, Ben's so rugged and hairy. And I'm, I'm, this, I'm this weird patchy mole rat who just stands near him. Okay, <laughs> pal. Uh, ben and Bell, you know the old cliche, long time listener, first time caller. Mm. I'd like to flip that uh, on its head this morning. This oh, evening. Sorry. Yeah. It's hard. We're used to doing breakfast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been doing it for like 10 years, but mm. now, yeah, other than this evening. That was my first one. Mm-hmm. It'll be my last. Um, but, yeah, what I would like to do is if you're a, a first-time listener, first-time caller. So 13, 24, 10. If, you, if you've just sort of been mm-hmm. like flicking around, you're like, what's going on here? Well, this is – it's as new – for you as it is for us. Like, we, we've literally we've already been going for now 47 minutes. This is the perfect chance as well for you to get your dinner sorted because here on Late Drive with yeah. Bell and Bell, every single caller is getting KFC on us, all thanks to KFC. KFC's Kentucky Fly Chicken. Find the international item on the KFC app for your chance to fly to where it's from. T's and C's apply. 13, 24, 10. Give us a buzz. First time listener, first time caller. We want to get to, I guess, we want to get to know you yeah, as well. Yeah. Who, who are we talking to? Uh, Crystal joins us now from Adelaide. You're a first time listener, first time caller. Absolutely. Hey, guys. Hey, Crystal. Hello. That's a shame. I mean, we did the breakfast over three years in Adelaide. <laughs> 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 Maybe you're listening to a different station at the time. But what, uh, what, are you, what are you doing at the moment? Are you sort of on the way home from work or? No, actually, we've got a public holiday. So at the moment, I'm just chilling with the dog. Oh my trying God, to keep him quiet that. and so he doesn't go off. That kind of well, that kind it. of comes back to what we were saying earlier, where um, we want people to gather around the radio yeah. when they get home, and it feels a bit ye olde. Yeah, so yeah. On a public holiday, you're listening to the radio. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Uh, well, thank you, Crystal. Uh, we'll pay for your dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, Jenny, you're calling through from Sydney. You're a first time listener, first time caller. Yes. Yes. First time through. Oh, Good on you, Jenny. Oh, I love nice. that. Hey, actually, Jenny, first caller from Sydney. Because mm-hmm. yeah, oh, I mean, Crystal's from Adelaide. We had someone from Queensland earlier, so there you go. You're representing all of Sydney at the moment. Um, I mean, you've only been listening for a little bit. Do you have a a favourite yet? Are you uh, are you a Liam gal or are you a you know? I'm talking now. That's that, I'm Liam. You've got Ben there or Bell. Who are you into? Well, well I don't, I don't, do I do I do I have to ask? You got to pick one, Jenny. Hmm? Okay, Ben. Oh, yeah. Whoa. and I was playing the yeah. bad cop. He was the one who put the gun to your head, you know? I mean, maybe I was just coming off too desperate because I put my name first. <laughs> Bit desperate. Uh, Andrew, you're calling through from Sydney. Hey, do you know our last caller, Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sydney's a big place. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, congratulations enough. on the new show, guys. Hey, oh, thanks, thanks, Andrew. Andrew. No, I love yeah. that. Oh, well, it's always good to have a first-time listener, first-time caller. Andrew, what are you up to at this time of night? Oh, just getting ready for dinner, actually. Oh, uh, what's on the menu? What do you got? Yeah. Well, I like to say KFC, but it's not. But it uh, could be soon, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Well, you've got yourself a voucher, <laughs> Andrew. Well done. Thank you. No worries, mate. Hell yeah, man. Load up. This is exciting because we've now got a caller from Perth. Let's go west. Let's go west, guys. Shari, how you doing? 
Good, thank you. How are you? Very good. <laughs> I must admit, I got appreciation for everybody, but I think I got a little bit more for Perth because, you know, sometimes I feel like Perth is so far away that it's nice yeah. when we can get Perth on and our Perth, show. Perth's a real nerve town as well. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Shari, what, what are you up to at the moment? Uh, it's like almost 4 p.m., so I'm actually still at work. Just snuck out for this call. But oh, yeah, sort of, Yeah. And, and what do you do? Uh, I'm a property manager in oh. real estate. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, right. Shari, I uh, appreciate you getting involved. KFC, on us. Thank you very much. Uh, Joanne joins us now. Are we still going? Jeez. Oh, well, hey. the, sorry, sorry, Joanne. Sorry. I think Belle was ready to ditch this oh, bit. Are you? You no, don't want to hear from Joanne. It was lovely meeting everyone, but it's, you know, we, just, we could just keep going. I was I, enjoying I, it. I was, oh, sorry. I was ready. I feel like we're going around the Joanne, country. Joanne, I yeah. do apologise. Joanne, you're in Sydney. Yeah. What, are you, what are you up to? Well, I heard before that we were being asked about our favourites and I was going to go girl power, Belle, but really. Oh, no, Joanne. No, <laughs> hey, I didn't even know that we were coming. To, I thought, you know, I'll So, Joanne, go to... now it's down to two. You've okay. got me and you've got no, Liam. Joanne, I'm sorry. Who's your <laughs> new favourite? <laughs> Liam, because you got the last But you wanted to say me. <laughs> <laughs> For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.